Hello everyone. Under the supervision of Professor Kondrapur Kumar Sharma sir, our group of Bisal Kumar Domai, Chandan Sharma and Ritik Saikya has built a sun tracking solar panel with battery charging for our final year project. In this session, we shall be talking about the various reasons that led us to choose in this for our final year project, how we proceeded with it, along with various block diagrams, flowchart, circuit diagrams, and a working video at the end of the session. When we talk about renewable sources, they are always raised as an alternative to the various forms of energy generating sources that cause pollution and various other reasons. We all know about the traditional ways of using solar panels, but where do our problem statements lie? To generate maximum output voltage, many solar panels are connected in series. As a result, a lot of area is needed which lead to high expenses for building the setup as well. Talking about the advantages of sun tracking solar panel, we all know that maximum output from the panel is achieved when the panel is perpendicular to the sun's rays, which is fulfilled when the panel is rotated according to the rotation of the sun. As for the BMS section, the momentum that lithium ion batteries are gaining over such wide range of applications, we have used the same for our project too. Keeping these things on our mind, we aim to promote renewable source of energy to minimize the cost of household by energy saving and increasing sustainability, easy installation of solar panels, and a battery backup for a good period of time. To fulfill these aims, our objectives are to design the model of the sun tracking scheme, to execute the fuzzy logic controller using Arduino, and to trace and create extreme output power of the solar panel. And to record effective data of the output voltage from the panel. For the sun tracker part, we have used a servo motor, a solar panel, an Arduino, two light dependent registers, two 10 kilo ohm registers, and a battery. And for the battery management part, we have used a TP4056 module, a node MCU module, lithium ion battery, 200 kilo ohm registers, and a DC to DC booster. As we have talked about the advantages of sun tracking solar panel, our first approach was to design the panel in such a way that it moves in an arc smoothly and to feed the output to a DC to DC booster for better output. Then we build up the circuit and feed the codes to our microcontroller. Finally, we have the BMS section which would ensure that the battery doesn't damage itself. Here is the block diagram of our project. The microcontroller would be activated through a power supply, here we have used a battery and it would be able to read the, read the values from the LDRs. Now, according to the values of the LDRs, the microcontroller would rotate the servo motor which is connected to the solar panel. And finally the output is received from the solar panel which is fed to a DC to DC booster for better results. Now the final value is sent to a DP4056 module which is connected to the lithium ion battery and to the node MCU model. Now TP4056 module is used to charge the battery and to read the status of the battery. After reading the values, it sends its values via node MCU to the cloud server. Now to talk about the logic behind our sun tracking part, the LDRs receive the inputs and the difference between both the LDRs are calculated. Now it is checked if the difference is greater than the threshold or not. If not, then it would wait till the difference gets greater than the threshold and the process will continue. When the difference becomes greater than the threshold, it is checked if the difference is positive or not. If the difference is positive, then the motor would move in the west direction. And if it is negative, then it would move in the opposite direction. And so on, the process would go on. Here is the circuit diagram of our uh, sun tracking part. Now, on recording the outputs from the panel at different instances, we can see that the outputs with sun tracking are 2 to 3 times that of a fixed panel. Now coming to our battery management system part, for any device, battery as we all know is the most important component. Improper charging or discharging of lithium ion battery may lead to big safety issues. So, 
The battery management system monitors the properties of battery like battery percentage, battery voltage, which will ensure their safety as we will be monitoring them continuously. Now, the, now as I said, the Denode MCU model, uh, it uh, sends the data to the cloud server. The drawback that uh, Node MCU has is that it can withstand only 3.3 volt. So an arrangement to convert the high input voltage within the Node MCU uh, Node MCU's range is arranged by connecting the, uh, the very input to a voltage divider circuit. Now, this is the TP4056 module which I said about already in the block diagram. This is how our server would look like. Here we would be uh, monitoring different status of the battery continuously. Here we can see that uh, the battery percentage is uh, charged from 22 to 26 and it would go on. This is the circuit diagram of our battery management part. This is how our prototype looked like. And these are the outputs that we have received on the cloud server. We can see the battery voltage and battery percentage. And we can also see the graphs of the battery voltage and percentage. Lastly, we can conclude by saying that small devices that use low power can be powered by this system. Low cost microcontrollers can easily implement the algorithm to reduce the system cost and good efficiency is also obtained. This is how we progressed with our project. Next, we would like to present the working of our model with all of you. The LDRs receive light which accordingly allows the microcontroller to rotate the servo motor which is connected to the solar panel. A threshold of 5 volt has been set uh, so that if the difference between both the LDRs is uh, less than 5 volt then the panel will not move. Whereas the LDR receiving higher voltage if the difference is greater than 5 volt will let the panel rotate in the direction of the LDR. The status of the battery is received by the node MCU. The node MCU can withstand only 3.3 volt. So a voltage divider circuit is used to bring down the value of the voltage that goes into the MCU. And here is the data that is received at the cloud server there it shows the output voltage and the battery percentage the battery voltage in this way we can protect the battery from getting damaged because we can monitor it continuously thank you